Magic Lands to me has always been about the spirit of the land and what the spirit wants to say, uh, specifically um, in reference to Indigenous communities from their point of view, um, how they perceived history and up until even today in 2022, how it's affected them, uh, colonisation. My connection to country comes from my ancestors, comes from my, my mother, my grandmother my grandfather, my uncles, my aunties. And um, that's the connection that we have. And it's through blood, um, yeah. You can't really, um, yeah, I It's through your heart. And, um, and strong beliefs. So we've been all out, but this is all about Black Lives Matter and treaty, but. Um, it's showing the world the history of Victorian mm. Aboriginals, which has never been done before. Mm. And that's exciting. To me, that's exciting. But um, yeah. it's tragic, but it's exciting as well. But it's it's um, time for that truth-telling, isn't it? I, I think that we should um, be allowed to speak the truth from what we know and um, tell, tell the story from the Indigenous side um, because it's similar to, like, you know, uh, a lot of other stories from Aboriginal people, they know about it's one side, but when they hear the full story, I mean, a lot of those things are going to be rewritten. The true history of this country, uh, stuff that we don't necessarily learn in school, um, because in order to heal that trauma, we need to acknowledge that that actually exists in the first place. And we can do that by truth-telling and not Aboriginal people, see things from our perspective a bit more and understanding where we're coming from. It's a great thing about history, we learn from history. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We never know what's going to happen tomorrow. But we knew what happened yesterday and we need to change some of the things that happened yesterday. Yeah, it's good to be honest, it's good to work it out. Because then you can start getting rid of all the, the lies and get to the truth so that we can set ourselves free. I suppose um, with my family and all my cousins and my relatives and other Aboriginal people throughout the community, um, we have suffered through the abuse of um, uh, trauma, uh, sexual abuse, the um, whole entire um, yeah, atrocities of um, yeah, um, colonisation. And our children are still suffering today. I would like to know more. Like, yeah. I like to know like, more about, I guess, where I came from and like, more of like, my dad's background, I guess you could say. Like, his history and what he's been through as like being a stolen generation, so, yeah. yeah. And people today are, are listening to us now, whereas a long time ago, they didn't care we were whingers. Any time we talked about Aboriginal issues, land rights and the whole lot, they didn't realise that, you know, it's like my foot. It's a part of me, and that's how I explain this land is. I don't own it. It doesn't belong to me. It's a part of me. And that a part you can never take away. Uh, the first part of the series is Mirab's Call, uh, which is based around the true story of William Buckley. Uh, there's eight episodes, um, and but it's not just about William Buckley. It's it's also about um, you know these indigenous characters, uh, Watharong community members that uh, suffered uh, through colonisation, and we really want to tell the story through a lot through their point of view. Um, you know, we're also through the story we're telling um, uh, you know the John Batman Treaty. Uh, we've got the naming of Geelong, um, the naming of Melbourne, State of Victoria, State of Tasmania, it's all in there. It's quite it's phenomenal all... to think that a white convict bailed on the whole white settlement and actually lived in the bush, you know, um, 
had arms opened up and welcomed into the people that were living here. You know, just because we have different skin colours, you know, we're, we all bleed red, we all, we all live, we all love, we all get sad, you know, depressed, whatever. We all, we're all human, we're all human. And I believe if it was my project and I was doing it, I'd, show, I'd definitely show it from both points of view. I'd show it how they have treated us and how they still continue to treat us. And what they done for William Buckley. And that will show the Australians how, give them an idea of how we used to live here off the land. The story of William Buckley is a really fascinating one, um, not only in his history in colonies, but I think a lot of his past, whether it be his upbringing once he came to Australia, parallels a lot of the struggles that we've had as a people. And I think that's something that people might be able to see in a different light if they can see context of a white man going through these struggles and then see how similar it is to things that we've been going through since he died. I think that's a really important way for people to be able to make that bridge between two experiences. And, and through the project, it, it'll, it'll create um, social awareness and it'll educate people and, and gain, and you know, hopefully, um, Made some positive discussion. We um, we have to admire the people that were um, left and survived because it's incredible. You know, with guidance from our indigenous consultants and elders and things, we we will um, tell the right story in the spirit of the land. Will will show us what what story it wants to tell in the end.